solve a problem. I just don't like using a bigger one. What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and today we are here with Scott and Jordan and we're going to take the kayaks out and see if we can't get on some redfish, speckled trout or anything else that will bite. So uh, you guys stick along. They just got some kayaks and we are super excited to take them out today on their first trip and uh, we're going to see if we can't get on some. Scott, you going to whisper up a few? Oh yeah, you already know it. Redfish time. <laughs> calls himself the fish whisperer. We're about to find out. Let's go. Did we just become best friends? Yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. So check this out, guys. We are here. All we need, D, is just to live in that white house. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. So we launched out of Grand Lagoon, which is uh, just before Perdido, Florida. I guess you would call it Perdido, Florida. Um, this is uh, the Innerarity Point Bridge right here. And if you go this way, uh, you'll run into Fort Pickens, Pensacola Beach, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is the Intercoastal Waterway. Uh, it's the same water system that I was fishing with the red, catching redfish and speckled trout in, in the last video. Uh, it all just connects. So we're gonna bounce around some of these docks and we're gonna fish all up along the coast here and see if we can't get on some of those redfish or speckled trout and just have a day. Scott's about to start fishing. Jordan's just kicking away back there. It's nice, it's nice. They're part of the kayak family now. Oh, the heat's coming. The heat is coming, just don't you worry. <laughs> No, let me show you guys what I'm fishing with. This is the same thing that I was using in the last video. It's just a little jig head with this little soft plastic swim bait. And it looks like it's like a watermelon red with a clear body. And it's got some black flake in there. So we're going to toss that around to start out with and see if we can't get us something. Got the fish finder going. First cast actually pretty shallow over here eight years old couple cane poles sitting down by the creek yellow light flipping on and off interrupting that good night kissing we wanted five more minutes scott is on is that him way out there yeah like yeah Scott's got a nice red fish on. Healthy fish. That's a tournament winner, son. These boys don't want I promise you, bro. This game over. This <laughs> game over, dude. You released him? Yeah. That's a nice little cove back here. Alright guys, I gotta change it up. They're not eating this little jig. All right, guys, there's a feeding frenzy right here in front of me. Sorry about the wind. We're gonna roll up on this feeding frenzy right here, guys. We should get bit right here. We should get bit right here. Here we go, let's go. Awesome is that? How cool was that? Guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. All right, we're gonna pull back up to the shore. We kind of got split up for a minute, but I think Scott and Jordan are ready to catch some live bait. And then we're gonna go fish under the bridge. So I'm gonna go grab my cast net and we're gonna try and get us some live bait. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so quick little bathroom break. We just uh, pulled back up to shore. Man, 
I gotta say, these bathrooms and everything, this is all brand new, guys. This whole launch and all this is brand new. They got pavilions and whatnot. We're at Big Lagoon, guys. Big Lagoon over in Perdido, right here by the bridge. Super nice facilities. We're about to catch some live bait and see if we can't get on some other fish. They definitely didn't want my lures. Jordan skipping. <laughs> All right, y'all, stay tuned. Okay, All right, guys. Scott just threw the money cast on some LY. And we got us a nice mullet. He's not going to stay in this bucket. But we'll put him in there for now. He was sitting right up under those LY. Oh, he tried to jump out. Hell yeah. See, mine don't yell at him. All right, shout out to Thomas and who else? Caitlin. Caitlin, all the way from Texas, guys. Out here trying to get on some fish here on the beautiful Gulf Coast. Scott's up there ready. We got some bait. Caitlin Herrera on YouTube, guys. Look her up. They're vloggers as well. I want y'all to look. Look at all that. I'm getting eight right now. Oh, I just had one. Must be a bunch of small fish down there. There's a fish. There's a fish. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a black. It's a mangrove snapper. First mangrove. Got him right in the mouth. Look at that circle hook. Circle hook did its job, guys. See how they snap? Watch him snap. See that? He'll get you. See if we can't get a measurement on this guy. He's a little over 10. We're gonna throw him in the box. One down, baby. See if we can't get on some more. Show y'all my setup. It's just a swivel tied into a 12 pound fluorocarbon. I use it on everything and just a small, small circle hook. Most people would use uh, egg weight, but they kept biting me off, so I switched to the free line. I tied on one of each, and I got these L wives, and all I'm doing is hooking them right in the body, just like this. So they'll eat it, and they'll swallow it whole because it looks like it's just floating. And it's easy for them to just take it and run with it. So fishing with free line, especially in the wind, is a little difficult because the wind likes to blow your line around. But if you play it just right, I'm casting into the current and letting it drift back into me so the bait will sink. So we'll try this again and see if we can't get on another one. There's a lot of fish over here. I'm not sure if they're all black snapper. I had black snapper follow him up whenever he came up. Yeah, so I'll show y'all where they're holding at. They're right here in this, in this area right here. Yeah, they are. So I cast up, let it sink. Hopefully we can get on some bigger ones too. My fish finder's going bananas. Scott's just soaking in the uh, luxury, the luxury life of being able to kick and just go wherever you want. He just keeps talking about it. <laughs> How nice it is. That's funny. I'm glad they got some kayaks, man. This is fun. Let's get back on some, guys. Fish. A little baby black snapper. Yeah, he's tiny. Don't pin don't poke me, bro. Don't poke me, bro. Here you go, guys. Small guy. He's cute, ain't he? 
he's grunting right now. We're gonna let him go. There he is. Oh, I had a nice one. Jeez. Nah, I missed him. There you go, guys. Another little black snapper. He may need to be measured. Well, they all need to be measured, but yeah, he's not going to make it. He's only about eight and a half. Let him go. Check this out, guys. It's like a natural spring right here. That water right there is like really warm. And you can see all the tannic color coming out of here from all the pine trees and different things. But this water right here is cool. It's really cool coming out of that natural spring. That was a weird looking bird right there. Yeah, look at there. There's like a pool right there. There's like a little creek running down natural spring coming right out here into the intercoastal waterway and check out this big old barge yeah we get these barges coming through all day long that guy's long got a crab so this game over all right guys change of scenery we have left the bridge got a little bit more bait and now we're going to fish up under these docks see if we can't pull some more mangroves out of here the mangroves that we were catching were all just on the limit side so we're going to see if we can't get on some bigger ones under these different docks so y'all stay tuned we're going to get rigged up and we're going to drop in lizard All right, guys, there you see it. A lizard fish. Very interesting species. It's a very interesting species. He looks like a lizard, therefore he gets his name, the lizard fish. Let's let him go. Pinfish. Finally got another fish. And it's a pinfish. These guys have been stealing our bait. Get out of here. This pelican's gonna try and harass me. Check him out. Hey, you want him? You want him? I'm gonna toss him to you. You gonna eat him? Oh! <laughs> How awesome was that? You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Let's go. Whoa, big, big hit right there. Woo, that's a good one. Whoa, he about snatched a rod out of my hand. Yes, a nice black snapper. Heck yeah. Yes. Now we're getting on him. A nice fat mangrove snapper right there he's a little bit bigger than the other one we're gonna put him in the box we're gonna put him in the box Woo, he tried to jump out all right guys if you have trouble getting a pinfish just grab your hook by the shaft like that and usually they stop but even if they are flapping around they're not all dangling on that line so you can just grab grab your fish just like that and you see how they stiffen up their fins whenever they get grabbed they will poke the hell out of you so you got to be careful with these guys pinfish good bait but we're not fishing for anything that big so we're going to throw him back all right guys there you have it we went out we did what we could scott got on a nice speckled trout and a nice red fish he ended up letting both those fish go. He's such a great guy. But uh, yeah, if you guys want, you can go check out his channel at Gulf Coasting. And Jordan also has a channel. And I think the name of her channel is Homemade. I think it's called Homemade. 
this is awkward anyways uh thanks to all my subscribers i think we're going to do some shout outs so let me grab my phone and we're going to do some shout outs real quick first of all drew mccormick thanks for the subscribe bro i really appreciate you um who else we got we got bryant color hey we appreciate you bro thanks for joining the team and uh let's see we got william hamilton william we appreciate you bro and thanks for joining the team coming on the adventure with me and last but not least i got to give a special shout out to richard titus that is my fiance's dad and uh recently we went out bass fishing and caught a nice few bass at santa rosa ranch like i said i appreciate each and every one of my subscribers the channel's growing more and more every day i can't thank you guys enough man i appreciate you guys watching if you haven't already be sure to like and subscribe i'm vitamin d for vitamin d tv and i'm out that's pretty gnarly right there <laughs> Hey, whatever works.